Hey everybody, it's Marty from Aspect LED. And I'm Edgar. And today we're going to talk about the Kasambi PWM4. Let's check it out. So what is the Kasambi PWM4? It is a Bluetooth controlled LED controller. It can be connected to either 12 or 24 volt DC power that can be in the form of batteries or it can be from a power supply. The output side can be connected to RGBW, RGB, color tuning, or even single channel LED lights. And we're gonna quick show you what that looks like right here. Here is how this gets connected to power. Uh, we have it connected to a 24 volt power supply. The red wire goes to the plus wire. The black wire goes to the negative connection. On the output side, we have V plus going to the black wire red, green, blue, and white wires lined up on these channels, one, two, three, and four. Before we go any further, it's important to talk about wattage limits. The wattage limit on the PWM4 is 96 watts. When you do the math on that, if you look at like our RGBW ultra bright strip, that works fine for one strip. But what if you wanna connect more than one strip with this controller? That's easy with our booster. Simply connect the wires from the output of the controller into a booster. Here I've actually expanded it to be able to power three four-in-one strips with one controller. Please check out the information below for a diagram of what this looks like. Now that we've talked a little bit about the specifications for this and how it gets wired up, let's have Edgar talk to you about using the app. All right, so now we're gonna talk about how to use the app. So first things first, when you initially power on your Kasambi unit, all of the attached lighting will be on until you get everything paired, and that is normal. So to get started, we're gonna to wanna to use the Kasambi app. Uh, that is available on Android and iOS. Today, we're gonna to be uh, showing you how to use it on iOS. So first thing we do is start up the app. And when you first start up the app, um, it should automatically find your Kasambi unit. Uh, it may also tell you to update the firmware. If it does, just follow the simple on-screen on instructions. Uh, once you're ready, uh, hit the pair device button and that will pair your uh, Kasambi uh, dimmer to a new network that you've just started. Once you're paired, uh, you'll be on the luminaires tab and on the luminaires tab, all you've got to do is press and hold down the icon that shows up and you will get your sliders for how to control your lighting. So with the sliders, you can dim your lighting all the way down as low as you want or all the way back up. You can control the white levels as well. And you can pick whatever color you want from the rainbow and save those colors on the palette below. For quick access, you can also press and uh, slide your finger left and right for quick dimming. For white color tuning fixtures, uh, you can also press and move your finger up and down to control the temperature of the light. You can also group multiple Kasambi units into a single group so that you can control multiple fixtures all at once. If you want more in-depth information on how to set up your Kasambi, check the links below. The beautiful thing about the Kasambi PWM4 is that you can expand the system. If you wanna have more controllers, you can use them all in tandem with each other, or you can set them up separately as zones. If you wanna control it with multiple phones, that is really easy so that you can have multiple users. If you don't wanna use a phone, you can order our Express remotes. They're available in both black and white. Thanks for watching our video about the Kasambi Bluetooth LED controller. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our experts here at Aspect LED. And light up that subscribe button.